Hi, so my name is Alan Yates. I'm a technical consultant with uh, Signiant. And Signiant has been involved in the FIMS project, that framework for interoperable media services out of AMWA. We've uh, been involved in there since pretty much the start, originally uh, with uh, the FIMS uh, 1.0 and now with the FIMS 1.1 standard and do, providing both the SOAP interfaces as well as the REST-based interfaces. It's interestingly with REST certainly being the latest and most people being in involved in REST and REST as well will be displaying our implementation with, with our product, but uh, we actually, there are still companies out there whose products are actually SOAP based and they cannot actually do FIM. So they're actually, we have people utilizing the SOAP version of FIMS, and even though sort of naturally the vast majority of new people are using REST-based interfaces. Um, certainly I work with a lot of customers and my customers when they come to me and ask me what web services APIs do you have, uh, that's they're either naming FIMS by name or they're saying okay what type of standards based interface do you have. So while of course we have proprietary interfaces, it's the, the large enterprise, especially a lot the national broadcasters uh, especially. Uh, both Europe and in North America come to us and specifically say, do, the, do you have a FIMS interface? And then when, we, when the uh, developers ask, do you have a REST-based interface? Um, if we look at sort of the key features that they like um, from the developer base that we've implemented recently, uh, call REST-based obviously, and callbacks is the other aspect, being able to get status and progress notification. Uh, those additions to FIMS are certainly extremely valued by the developer side. So what I'll do is I'll just display a very simple demo of our implementation of FIMS with the Signet Manager and Agents product. Uh, so this is a REST-based uh, implementation. So we'll just uh, run the test case. It's going to demonstrate several of the methods available. Signet doing accelerated managed transport. Naturally, we implement the transfer service for FIMS. So what we're doing here, we've actually gone and created a job using FIMS. So we'll just go check the Signet Manager here, and we'll see... FIMS job is being created. It was created with a priority of low, so it's been queued in Signet's queuing system um, based on some resource management controls, so it's sitting queued three out of three, so at the end of the queue. So what we'll do is let this go down here. We're going to now go and change the priority to high, so we'll get another, another one of the FIMS methods. And if we actually look, look here, we'll, be, we'll see the callbacks coming, to notification callbacks showing the change in status of the job coming in automatically. And if we see now here, we're now priority high, and of course, Signet's moved it to the top of the queue, so it's going to be the next job to run. And go back here, and we're now going to go and cancel the job, which never so fun, but sometimes it has to be done. So again, you'll see all these callbacks coming back. JSON, no, JSON standard there, um, well utilized, and now we see the job is being canceled. And that's, that's sort of Signia's implementation of FIMS. Uh, we like it. It's an easy standard to implement, too. We're continuing as, the, in, as any more additional in, increments to the standard gets released. We're going to keep up with it because it's what our customers are asking us for. Any, uh, any questions?